Hello, I'm Dean Karstens, and this is Dean's N-Scale Trains. I'm standing in front of my current layout that I'm constructing, the Conejos Valley Railroad, and today I'm going to show you how I built this mountain. In a previous video, I showed how I built this hill building up layers of styrofoam sheets. Today I'm gonna to do something different, show you a different technique to build my mountain. So here's an outline of what I'm going to do today to show you how I'm doing the next step on the Conejos Valley Railroad. First, I'm going to build a mountain using a hybrid approach. The lower levels are going to be built up with styrofoam sheets as before, but then I'm going to use wads of newspapers covered with uh, masking tape to form the rest of the mountain. After that's done, I'll cover everything with two layers of plaster cloth, as usual. Then I'll use my usual paint for painting the ground. I'll add ground cover, various kinds of ground covers. Then I'm going to add small trees and bushes. At the end, I'm going to install the four tunnel portals. And finally, I'm going to show some trains running in, around again. I'll place some chapter headings in the final YouTube video when I, download, when I upload it so that you can jump around to the parts that you want to see and skip those that you're not interested in. So let's jump right in and get started building the mountain. Here's a photo showing the hybrid approach. As you can see, the first three or four layers are made up of styrofoam. Above that, I've placed tape over wadded up newspapers and adjusted it to give the form I wanted. I want to add some rock work in these areas, in this area here. So I've cut this away, chipped away the, um, cut through the plaster, chipped away the um, styrofoam, and I want this piece to sit there. It will sit on this little ledge down there, and then I'll fill this in. This is a matching piece that I want to put over here. Over here, These two tunnel portals will go in there. Okay, I've mixed the plaster of Paris, two to one. Let it set for a couple minutes. I'm going to wet this so it doesn't suck out the water from the plaster of Paris too quickly.
At this point, I painted the mountain with my standard brown color acrylic paint. Here are the tools I used to, to uh, carve the plaster. This is an old fish knife. I've sharpened off the point, made it flat for carving. I can use the, uh, use the teeth for, for sawing. This is a spatula that I've flattened and sharpened. And then coarse sandpaper. Okay, so now it's time to start coloring the rock, the three colors. This is yellow ochre. This is burnt umber, a little bit darker. And this is black. And I just use uh, acrylic paints diluted that I buy from the local store. Okay, so we've been here before. This is scenic cement. So to make the trees and the bushes, I'm using dark green and light green clump, fo clump foliage. Trees tend to grow together in, in little groves. Put down some uh, white glue. and stick them down. And here's what it looks like when everything's dry. The tunnel portals were stained with a black wash before installation. They were laid flat and then stained. And note how the black color collected in the cracks and emphasized them. Okay, the tunnel portal is given a final check to make sure it fits. 
kind of level to see where we're going to put this. Okay, right there. Make a note of where it sits. Then, So that's it for now folks. Please subscribe to my channel Dean's N Scale Trains if you want to see more of this series. Also check out my other videos. Finally, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.